Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarkin. Welcome back to our free to play series in Last and Earth Survival. So, here in front of us, we have the minivan. It's not repaired yet, as I don't have all of the resources. I have almost everything except the glass and the rubber, and we can get that stuff from the sewers. So, today, for the first time on this account, we are gonna clear the sewers fully and properly. But in order to clear those sewers, we'll require to get some melee weapons. And the police department is a nice way to get some melee weapons. As check this out here, I already have six of these round cards. So, how about we open up only one of them, then maybe I'll kill a few zombies. Maybe I get lucky enough and I'll get like a green card or something. So inside of this first brown card, we have gotten two managers and some other random loot. Sadly, we didn't get a nice melee weapon. We've just gotten this hammer. Sometimes you can get a baseball bat. Okay, so this dude dropped us another brown card. I like this place over here because there's some sort of a door and you can wall trick these zombie officers. And I know I said that it's wall trick, but hey, excuse me, it's not wall trick. It is door trick. The explosive zombie is gonna explode. Did we get something nice? Another brown card. It's not that bad, but I'd love to get at least one green today. Well, and let's try to open up one more brown card because I need another melee weapon. Let's do that. What do we have here? A hockey stick. So this hockey stick is gonna be good enough to wall trick in the police department. I will absolutely take it. Plus some healing items are always appreciated. Well, I have this flare gun and I have a Glock. So let's do a few waves. I have almost no armor left though. That's it, I'm out of armor, of course. Why wouldn't I be out of armor? And there we go. This zombie dropped to something. There we go. Another brown. That was enough. So let's surrender. Let's exchange those 10 brown for one green. There we go. As I said, it's not really worth it. I'd rather keep those brown cards for later, but whatever. Let's do it. Let's drop this brown card over here. Excuse me, a green card. And what did we get here? A katana. And inside of here, we've gotten a skull crusher. You know what? At least we've gotten a katana. That's a decent melee weapon. I like that. Plus, we already have this improved stock on our Winchester. Plus, we've gotten some pants. So all I need is just some shoes and we got some sort of an armor. That's great. And we have already unlocked the sewers last time. So let's just drop there. And for those who didn't know before, you had to have a chopper just to get to the sewers because you had to build your own generator because you can break generators only using choppers but now if you keep doing these acts in one of the chapters you get a free generator which is absolutely amazing so we didn't have to have a chopper and now we can go here to the sewer so i did bring here some guns so how about we use that stuff there we go merman should just die like that from two shots plus a melee attack because one flare gun shot does about 100 damage okay we don't have anything else there so how about we get back to that flare gun and let's just use it because i don't have a lot of healing items we have those flare guns plus you can get guns easily from bunker alpha so i might as well just Use that stuff over here. Okay, so the swamp loader should die just from two attacks. Can we wall check it here? Nope, didn't really work, but we didn't have to wall check it as that dude just died. Then we have another floater bloater. So let's do three more shots. Let's avoid that. And floater bloater should just die like this. There we go. Thanks for your cooperation. Okay, so we could climb higher. Okay, so here's the thing that you need to know. Last time when we've unlocked the sewers, we couldn't really climb up. But for those who didn't know, if you climb up, you can lose all of your loot. So if you die here right now in the sewers here at the first floor or whatnot, you won't lose anything as you'll be able to come back here and pick up your loot. But if you climb up one of these ladders, you will lose all of your loot. So be very careful. And I think while we're here, we might as well just climb up. That's it. I'm going to get bandages just in case. And let's climb up. So there we go. This is going to be our first sewer actual floor. And I'm ready to go and loot it. So once again, some more tips and tricks. If you climb down now, you won't be able to climb up. That's why if you die here, you will lose all of your loot. As soon as you die or as soon as you climb down, this place is going to collapse on itself. So be very, very careful. I'm probably going to open up this door. Wait, I don't really remember this place at all. What is that? Can I open up this door? Nope, I cannot. Wait, I've... I haven't cleared this place many times. I'm extremely lost. I'm seriously extremely lost. I definitely have fought this cocoon before. And the cocoon has a lot of defense. I think we can just use maybe melee weapons on it. Let's perhaps get this thing. Oh my goodness. Just heal up, idiot. Don't die. Oh no, it releases the things. I almost died. I had 15 health there. Whoa. So we have to use our thing. Maybe we could use melee weapons, but whatever. It's been a really, really long time since I fought this cocoon. Okay, so let's do a few more flare gun shots. I don't want to use any more of my bandages as I've already used up here four or five bandages. So that's kind of stupid. There we go. Let's try to do three shots. And will this cocoon disappear? There we go. Just melted. The thing exploded. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Wait, is there another cocoon? What is this place? I've cleared the sewers plenty of times, but maybe I've cleared this cocoon variant only once or twice. So that's why I don't remember it that well. Let's get the Glock. Oh, wow. Oh, this place has a lot of zombies. Oh, no, I missed that wall trick. Totally missed it. Whatever. Let's try to go back up and maybe I'll be able to wall trick them now. If wall trick doesn't work, we can always try to door trick. Okay, so let's try to thin out this crowd. To thin it out, I'll try to use 
my Glock here, and then I'll be able to use some of my melee weapons. Okay, that's a lot better. There are only a few of these guys, and they're kind of calm now. Oh, no, they're not calm anymore. Whatever, I'm gonna get back my katana. So, yeah, the sewers are very dangerous. Be very, very careful. I'm gonna just pick up everything, because I don't want to miss anything in this place. And also, be careful when you pick up, and be careful when you fight around this place. Sometimes, zombies will die really close to this place, and you'll just accidentally click on that hatch, and it will leave the place. So, be very careful. Anything else here? Okay, so we have a chest, and I can hear more of those blobs. More of those cocoons. I... I don't get it. I don't remember. Okay, so let's read that terrain map. Once we read enough of those terrain maps, we'll be able to unlock a sunken key crate. Oh, actually, we have gotten what we needed. We have gotten one rubber, and we need five rubber to assemble the minivan. So that's great. Plus, we've got an empty toolbox. I will pick that stuff up. Let's get... I know, back to our Glock. Let's open that stuff up. Let's deal with this dude. We could probably maybe wall trick it even. We got it. We've gotten some more rope. I will pick that stuff up. And there's nothing else here. We will survive, it says here on the wall. I can hear more blobs. I can hear more cocoons. I don't believe it. <laughs> what is going on with this place? Whatever, let's get another Glock. And let's open up the door over here. Okay, we got another bloodthirsty pest. I'll just get it like that. As I said, be very careful. Constantly look at your health. As if you die here, you will lose everything. So all of the guns here that I have, they'll just disappear. They'll just vanish. So we have to be extremely, extremely, extremely careful. I don't think I can emphasize that enough. How careful we gotta be here. Okay, more rope. Can I open up one of these doors? Nope, the door is stuck. And the door is stuck as well. Understandable. Can I open this up? Okay, we can open it up. I'm gonna get a saw blade mace. And what is this zombie? A sick cruncher. I mean, we don't even have to fight it as it has nothing here really. But whatever, I will fight it. Can I fight it over here? Oh, yes, we can. So there's like some sort of a tiny wall so we can easily wall trick this sick cruncher. I really haven't cleared this variant of the sewers that often. Maybe only once or twice, as I totally don't remember these cocoons, so it feels like it's a completely brand new place to me. As I used to clear the sewers very often when they came out, when I needed to assemble the boat, but once you assemble the boat, you don't really come back here. So there's that. All right. Oh, wow, I did get a little bit too close. So let's try to heal up. I'm going to probably use jerky to heal up so that way I can stack more items. I don't want to risk anything here. Maybe you could run past it, but I'm not risking it. I'm just going to destroy this thing. There we go. I'm going to open up this door. Okay, we can open it up that way. Um, What do we have here? Let's be quiet. I can see another blob. Well, by see, I mean here. Could I go that way or will that zombie see me? Probably it will see me. Oh, yes, it did see me. Can I wall trick it here? Maybe I can wall trick it somewhere. It doesn't matter. We have a gun. I will use that gun here on the sick cruncher. We've just leveled up. That is nice. Let's see what kind of perks we can get here. Strict diet. I'll probably go for the iron miner, though, because I want to level this skill up as fast as possible. That way, that skill will disappear from the pool of other skills and we'll have a higher chance of getting better skills. Like, for example, an extra pocket that I still don't have or higher level burglar skills. What do we have here? We've gotten some asbestos. We've gotten some more aluminum plates, which I also need. Let's get that. Let's get some wrenches and an electronic circuit. Plus, we can get some acid, but I don't have space for that. So how about we delete this F card? Let's get this. We can open up now this door. Okay, so the guns that I have here, I mean, we have an AK, whatever. Let's get that AK instead of that broken Glock. There's also a chest over there, so I'll try to open it up. Except, yeah, before I open it up, obviously other zombies will attack us. So how about I get this thing? Oh my goodness, look at all of these crawlers. That is a lot of crawlers. Okay, we can kind of wall trick them. Well, not very easily, but we can definitely wall trick them. There we go. Now let's just deal with these guys. There we go. We did it. Killed all of them. Now let's loot this box and let's open up probably the last room because if I'm not mistaken, there has to be one more blob and it's like some sort of a boss blob. I don't know. Let's get the rest of the stuff. We have gotten two rubber pieces. That is amazing. Now I don't have enough space to get the rest of the stuff. So how about I get this? How about we delete this absolutely destroyed Glock? We had only one bullet in it. Could have probably used it, but whatever. I am ready now. Let's get the AK and let's open this stuff up. Oh my goodness. There are these parasites. So I'm going to be ready. I don't know what they do. I don't know how much damage they do. And I don't want to find out. Not here, not today. Oh my goodness, I'm getting damaged! Whoa, how? Why? From that far? Okay, so the cocoon has only 80 more health left. Okay, let's completely pop it and then let's deal with those parasites. There we go, cocoon just exploded. We have gotten some more points towards the season pass. And we might as well just collect some of the rewards. Why not? Okay, we still have some durability in this weapon. Maybe I should have left the AK at the base, but all of my glocks are at bunker alpha. So, there's that. Okay, we can open this thing up. See, so yeah, this is probably one of the most dangerous sewers that I've cleared, even. Another one of these guys. 
Let's get it. We have now some more rubber and I have another empty crate. We could send those crates for deliveries. We can get some loot from deliveries. So maybe we will do that one day. I kind of don't feel like sending my loot as I need all of the loot in the base, but we'll see. Okay, so let's go lower. And here's a tip and trick that I can give you. Oh, first of all, check this out. As I said, this entire place just collapsed on its own. It just collapsed on itself, so we won't be able to climb back up. So do not die there. I can't stress that enough. And there's another tip and trick that I want to do right now. So I do not want to lose some of the loot that I've gotten today. So how about we drop some of the more valuable items here inside of the storage? I'm probably gonna drop everything that I don't need, like these things over here. There's no need I need to bring that stuff to the sewers. This way we have more space. And even if I die, I won't lose the rubber. I won't lose the asbestos, so... It's awesome. Definitely make sure to store your loot up the top. We're kind of running low on guns, so how about we get another Glock? There we go, we got it. Now we'll just need to run through here. We need to disable this. Let's start sneaking, and hey, let's keep clearing the sewers as we're not done yet. There are still many more chests for us to open up. We still need to get some more rubber. I'm gonna deal now with the swamp bloater. A few more saw blade mace attacks. Maybe we could also loot some of these rooms. Sometimes they have some chests, but I will see. I'll try to loot those crates at the very end because I want to loot this place first. I want to open up the best crates. And if I don't have some of the loot, then I'll try to perhaps open up some of these rooms. We'll see. Let's heal up fully. I will get a Glock in my hands. I just want to be very careful. Okay, we are getting a decent amount of damage here. I do not like it. Let's start healing up. This place is also locked. I mentioned that already once in the previous video, but you can assemble here this water pump and then you won't have to walk through this goop over here. I will, however, loot this room. Okay, so it does have something inside of it. That is nice. Let's get that subline mace and then quickly we're gonna switch to the, to the Glock. Okay, we destroyed this guy. How about we hide? Maybe we didn't even have to switch to that Glock. Okay, cool. Everything's fine. That room was kind of easy to clear. Okay, let's deal with the swamp zombie. And let's see what other things we can find in this place. Because there's still two huge crates that we can open up. Oh, here we've gotten some glass. We'll get it. Because we can still open up one of the good crates on top of the first floor. And then there has to be one more ladder. And then there we can also open up one more nice crate. Oh my goodness, just heal up. How about we get this? I just want to stay safe here. We could have used just a katana. But whatever, I'm going to loot this trash. Oh no, there's the merman. Okay, merman just stays in one spot. Merman gets my approval. How about I sneak attack the merman, then I get this. And we deal with this dude just like that. Okay, so let's start healing here with jerky. There we go, let's heal up again. Now, let's loot this trash. And inside of here, we've gotten more of those terrain maps. We have gotten some more glass. See, we have a lot of glass, but I still don't have a lot of rubber. We need to do something about that. I'm running out of bandages. I only have nine bandages. We've already used... 11 bandages here. And here we can climb up, so that's probably what I'll do. So yeah, let's just go for it. Well, we still have some healing items, but we still have some guns. Let's perhaps maybe get another gun before we go up there. Let's go to weapons. Let's get perhaps another flare gun. Should be decent enough. Let's go now to the second floor. I don't have a lot of healing items, so that's why I'm blasting some more weapons. We can get healing items by farming green zones. I'm not planning to farm green zones here in this free-to-play account. As the goal from these free-to-play series is not to show you how to farm green zones, it's to show you how to play this game efficiently, and also like to show you that hey, not everything is about grind. I haven't grinded any green zones here yet on this free-to-play account, and so far we are managing here pretty well. So it's not all about grind, and I like that. Okay, let's open that up. Let's hide behind here. Okay, let's deal with some of these guys real quick, and then we can wall trick some of these other dudes. Let's get a katana, and there we go. Let's start wall tricking them. Let's take their loot. Perhaps we've gotten enough pieces of cloth, and there we go. With these pieces of cloth, we can craft some manages. I like that. There we go. Perhaps some rubber here. Please, please, please. That's all I need. I think we just need two more rubber pieces and some aluminum plates. That's what I'd love to get. Oh, no, more glass. We already have enough glass, probably. But hey, maybe the glass will be used for some other buildings in the settlement, so... I don't mind that. Let's open up this room. Oh, wow, this room is ridiculous. So let's be very careful. We have only five more bandages left. We have this fetid corpse. If you bring a gas mask from your base, you can deal with this fetid corpse a little bit easier. You'd be immune to that other stuff, to the goop that he spits out. Okay, let's keep healing up. And there we go. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Let's heal up back to full. There we go. We have only one more bandage left. That is kind of sad if you ask me. Well, I'm just going to get it here as a backup. Let's get those things. We've gotten some big bones. Well, I will bring them back to the base. See, so, yeah, this place was pretty difficult. There are lots of zombies. I mean, good luck wall tricking all of them. It is probably doable, but with that fetid corpse and everything, like that's a lot of risk. And there we go. We've gotten some more rubber. That is great. We just needed probably two more rubber pieces and we just got them. So now my goal is to not die here. I mean, this place will have more zombies, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, there are just pretty basic zombies. We could wall trick some of them. 
So let's hide behind the wall and let's get back to wall tricking. There you go. We got all of them. We've gotten some more pieces of cloth. Still only four. Not enough. Obviously, this door is locked. We cannot go up there. Let's now... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This toxic spewer uh, will get a glog that will break soon. Okay, we'll hide here. We'll get a flare gun. Oh, my goodness. Okay, the toxic spewer will be ridiculous. Okay, let's do a few more shots. Let's keep healing up. More shots, more shots. And perhaps this dude will die. There we go. We just dealt with this Toxic Spewer. We've gotten some more big bones. So you know what? The sewers are not that bad. It's a pretty difficult place, but as you can see, you can definitely clear it. We're clearing it almost without any grind. So it is absolutely doable. Let's just not die here. There we go. There's the Lurker. So how about we completely destroy it? Well, whatever. We dealt with the Lurker. And let's open up this big crate. Whatever we get here. I'll be happy with whatever we get here. Uh, we've got uh, one of these pumps. I'll take that. We've gotten some more asbestos and some more random things. I'll try to get as many of them as possible. I will get the wrenches. I will get these iron plates. And we cannot open up anything else here. So let's open up the terminal. And there we go. We're almost done with the sewers. There's only one more place left for us to loot. It's the place at the very, very beginning. And now let's go to the very end and let's deal with a few more zombies. And that's it. Let's do a few shots to Merman. The swamp bloater, stupid merman. Okay, let's deal with the swamp bloater. Okay, actually, there's the berserker. Berserker is pretty difficult. I'm gonna do two more shots to this guy. I will hide behind the wall. The dude just died. And how about I get my katana? And how about I deal with this berserker? So we gotta be careful. We gotta time our attacks. As I don't want to get hit in the face. As that dude probably does like 20 damage or something. There we go. He stopped attacking. So let's do one more shot. And there we go. Berserker is dead. I think we have some more loot that we could get here. Let's get that infinite pack. And I think we could open it up now. There we go. Let's see what that infinite pack has to offer for us. A Glock! Thank you very much. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Thank you very much. Now, when you play this, this game, you do get lots of, like, different rewards. Like, a random Glock here and there. Random stuff here and there. So, it is a little bit easier to play last than, than before. And we've gotten some more aluminum. You know what? I didn't expect that. But maybe even today, we'll be able to assemble that minivan. We've gotten everything there is to get. So, let's leave this place. Now, let's talk to Jake. So, from this guy, you can get this crane key. And you can get it either by reading those maps that you find inside of the sewers. Or by doing some deliveries. Deliver Deliveries currently are very clunky. I wish we could build these workbenches in our own base. That way we could just pack these deliveries at the base and then we could come back here to this port location and that's where we could send them. That's what I would love to do. But currently you have to pack those deliveries here so you have to come here with all the loot. Okay, so we kind of have to build some more boxes because my base is almost full and the good news is that we have all of the resources required to build that minivan. So we're going to be building the minivan very soon but first of all, let's try to build this box. Let's try to place it over here and let's just drop here the things that don't fit anywhere else. And there we go. We are back in the settlement. So I can just drop everything that I have here. The only thing that we don't have is the truck wheel. Actually, four truck wheels to be exact. Luckily, we have them here in our inbox. I'm sure we've gotten these truck wheels from some sort of acts. So that is great. I think one of the acts, one of the chapters gives you those wheels. So let's just drop them here and bam. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just finalize the minivan and let's do it. I never expected that we'll be able to finish the minivan here this quickly without a lot of grinding. But hey, we did it. We actually bloody did it. Now we have to talk to Connor. We fix the car soon. It's going to be on the go. And now what do we do? We have to meet Connor. We've done a good job. You saved my life three times, said whoever, I don't know her name. All we need to do now is wait for my friends. I'm sure they're already coming. Okay, so the story progresses. I actually don't remember what will happen. I know that we need to build the rest of these things. Probably that's what will happen. And then the guys will come back and we will be able to do expeditions, but whatever. That's weird. My friends should have been here by now. Hope they're okay. Somebody came outside. Hello, this dude. Connor, I barely made it. We attacked from all sides. Tucker, finally, I was getting worried. Where are the others? We were attacked by some strange people. They were like, blah, blah. We started to fight back, but those noises attracted zombies. And uh, what do we do now? Speak to Tucker before leaving. Hurry, you drive Tucker and I will shoot back. Well, we have unlocked something. And what is that something? Wait, first of all, I want to go back to act two. Wait, we need to go here. It is so weird. Let's go back to chapter one, as I'm sure I haven't claimed their rewards yet. I'm kind of curious how many people fail to claim their rewards here. This thing is very junky and I can't be the only one. Like, check this out. We've just completed this thing. It is shining. When I click on it, I don't get my rewards. I just see this thing. So you have to swipe 
to your left, kind of. I mean, you swipe to the right to see their left thing. You got the point. Then you go here. You have to click on this button that says open behind the face. Can we click on that? And only then you'll be able to claim the rewards. That's a lot of buttons to click. And I'm almost sure that a lot of people don't claim all of those rewards. Again, I might be wrong. But if you had troubles with this thing, or if you sometimes forget to claim those rewards, then hey, let me know because I'm pretty sure it's a little bit junky. Connor finally lived to see his friend Talker come. But he came back alone. Guess I'll have to find the others. Speak to Tucker before leaving. So let's talk to Tucker now. What is going on? Oh, we're going on our first ever expedition. I did not expect that. I thought it would require to build some more things. That's got to be the first ever expedition, ladies and gentlemen. Again, these expeditions are not that great. I wish they were a little bit better. But there we go. We have it. I have no idea why this thing is shaking here so much. He must be somewhere around. Wait, I, there's no way we haven't logged the expeditions already. I'm sure that that's not it. Okay, so let's start shooting them. Let's do whatever we gotta do. So these expeditions are really not that great. I'm not the biggest fan of them. But whatever, that's basically free loot. Can I unlock daily loot now here on this account? If we can, then that is actually ridiculous. Because getting daily loot on this account will be absolutely worth it as... Yeah, so far that was very easy, guys. We have gotten something. Rewards? Wait, are these daily rewards? Maybe? No? No way these are daily rewards. Nah, nah, that was just probably basic loot. There's no way those were daily rewards. You know what? I might actually suggest doing settlement for everybody. Because I think it's kind of nice. Wait, check the expedition loot. That must have been the expedition loot. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have gotten these things over here. Okay, I love that. Here's the loot from the expeditions. That's lovely. Now we have to talk to Connor. I know someone around here. They will help us. Not for free, though. Here are their contracts. Okay, pick one and I'll get this done. Okay, we can open up a free contract now. Let's do it. We have gotten this Lemmy Maverick. So we have to drive around. Whatever, let's try to drive around, apparently. If the game wants me to drive around, I will drive around. These first few expeditions should be very easy. Just do your best to not overheat the turret because sometimes zombies will have just a little bit of health, so it's better to finish them off. Okay, let's try to do one more expedition. I mean, so far we are getting a lot of rewards here. Before assembling the minivan, it was very difficult. It was very expensive. Now it is a little bit cheaper. Is it at the perfect price? I have no idea, but it's definitely doable. If I was able to unlock it basically without doing almost anything, just clearing the sewers, then I'm sure you can do it too. Except the biggest issue is that some people might not know that you can get rubber parts from the sewers, like those huge thick rubber pieces, right? So that's a big issue. I think we should have a button. Every time you click like on an item, it should explain in detail where you can obtain those items. Because right now, I'm sure a lot of new players might not know how to assemble their minivan. Okay, that is it. The items were sent to the settlement. I can't do anything else. We can't progress any further. Now we have to talk to Rachel. There's another task that we need to do. Hello, Rachel. Have you seen how I pimped your minivan? It's even more reliable now. We plan expeditions in the command center. Collect the loot. Check the list on the computer. Select the first expedition. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to beat a few more waves and then we'll be able to start getting daily loot. So there we go. Finally, expeditions are out. I'm very excited about these new things coming soon. They should definitely do something. Look at this. There's this duel. There's capture. There is this evacuation. They should definitely add these things to the game. I'm sure the settlement might be a lot better because so far expeditions are okay, but I'm sure these other things can be a lot better. Well, whatever. Let's try to assemble our first squad. I don't know if we can do this. We might not have enough gear score. Okay, so that is it. We failed. Upgrade your mercenaries. Maybe it was designed for us to fail here. There go. I think it was by design. We have to talk to Rachel again. So we had to fail there on purpose. Yeah, this job is not for wimps, but you did well. Unlike us, battles like these take proper training and preparation. See what they got in the blah, blah, blah. Build barracks. Okay, so basically our next goal is to build the barracks, which shouldn't be that difficult to build. Actually, you might already have everything besides the screws, unless we have some screws in the box over here. We did get eight of them. So so we have done a lot of progress today and I believe that the settlement might actually be decent, especially if they add those other game modes. We just have to wait and see. And also we can almost build the barracks. I just need a few more aluminum bars, but I am already smelting these aluminum bars. And yeah, we will build those barracks in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video. And I highly suggest you check it out my dead island. Two Let's Blur, click on the second card and go to Resident Evil 4 Let's Blur. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And Consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.